all news, any type of news. John Sandman's here to save the day. Welcome to Sandman News. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to Sandman News. Today's top story is extremely heartbreaking news. <laughs> oh, man, I was not expecting this one. Oh, uh, wow. I have so many emotions. This just happened 30 minutes ago, and I was like, I had another video planned for today. I'm going to push it for later. I, this is just such a big deal, especially in my community. Crates are leaving Rocket League later this year. Now, I have so many things I want to say, but we'll just go with it. I made a little, uh, you know, a little notepad. This is this news touches very close to home. As you guys know, I love doing my Friday crate openings. Uh, we have a lot of mini games that we have created with crates. So this is, you know, obviously it hurt. It hurt to read it. Um, <clears throat> let me just read what we got from Psyonix here at Psyonix and Epic Games as a whole. They both agreed. We are dedicated to creating the best possible experience for our players all over the world. In pursuit of that goal later this year, we will remove all paid randomized crates from Rocket League, replacing them with a system that shows the exact items you're buying in advance. Hence, the eSports shop or the Fortnite. If you play Fortnite, you know how it is. You buy it from the shop, what you want, bada bing, bada boom, get what you want, skip out what you don't want. This is similar to changes implemented earlier this year by Fortnite Save the World team. Rocket Pass premium DLC cars and eSports items will continue to be offered for direct purchase alongside our new system. We will share more information, including timelines and rollout specifics in the coming months. So, obviously, I read this from the tweet. Like, I got the tweet and then I read into it. <laughs> You're fucked, bro. No, no. Listen, let me just start by saying, for me personally, um, that's such a good tweet. It's so funny. Uh, I'm not worried about my channel. And, and I'm sure, like, a lot of people are like, yeah, anyone would say that. If I did crate openings five, six days a week, I would be really worried about my channel. But, you know, I'm playing Team Fight Tactics. I'm enjoying Rocket League, like, the gameplay again. I'm on a kick. A bunch of gameplay videos are coming out, trying to get Grand Champ. Uh, you know, who knows with Epic coming in if if modded is going to become something. So I'm not. I'm really not worried at all. If if I cannot, like, stand on YouTube without doing crate openings, then I'm not a good YouTuber. Straight up. Straight up. So please don't worry about me personally. Uh, you know, I just hope... Some of the homies stick around for 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 more that I you know I got a brain up here I'm gonna come up with some cool ideas, um, but crates are no more. And uh, here's the good news: the good news is it is 2019, and honestly, that that method just doesn't work that well anymore. The randomization it is gambling, it's gambling, and a lot of kids are 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 enjoying it too much or spending money they don't have. And it's, it's dangerous. It can be very dangerous. So, like, I'm sure Fortnite realizes that. Epic realizes that. Psyonix is with Epic now. So, they're like, all right, well, here's the change. So, I wanted, I did some digging. And uh, always, I always check the, the, the Reddit, right? I always check the Reddit to see what they have to say. Because they answer questions. You know, you always have, uh, you know, um, Dirk End or Devin or any of the homies answering questions. Um, so, real quick, let's just, I just want to cover this with you. Uh, sorry if I'm like a little, I'm still in awe and I'm still just like, I see both sides. So it, it sucks. Cause like one side, like from the content creator point of view of me, like, I'm just like all these cool things we created are like now gone are going to be gone. Like, you know, the, I, I listed it, blackjack, crate wars, fights, bingo episodes. Like we made a lot of really cool things on this game with these crates, which was really fun. And I've had a really a lot of good moments. It's it's just like if they took away blind trading when we thought that was gonna happen. It, it would just it's just a bummer, right? Like we 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 had like we made a lot of good episodes and you know, and it's like the end of an era kinda. Uh when they changed the crate, even like the crate opening. It was like, ah, it's just this feeling of like, I get it, I do, I get the business side, I understand, but like I'm like, ah, hurts my little heart. So here's what's really interesting though. So here's what Durkin says. Crates will remain in your inventory until we roll out changes. So later this year, I'm guessing this is going to happen in like November, October, November. Um, 
At that time, any crates you still possess will be replaced with usable alternative. So I'm guessing it'll give you some currency of some type, like a, a Rocket League currency, sort of has how Fortnite has their currency. Uh, V-Bucks, it'll give you our bucks. Rocket League bucks, baby! <laughs> we'll have more information on this in the coming months. So months is plural. So it's August, September, October. I'm guessing like information will roll out October. Maybe this will all happen November, December. Um, who knows though? With Epic behind it, they move. They move. So if crates are no longer in the game, what is the use of keys? And will we end up getting, will they get removed as well? Keys will still be sold while the crate system remains in game, obviously. After the crate system's removed. So it's going to be gone. You can't just hoard your, that's what I was thinking. I was like, all right, I'm going to put in an order for a thousand of each crate. And I'll be able to live this on for like two more years. <laughs> like uh, In my mind, I was like, I could still play my little mini games. Uh, we'll put fun little bets on it. No big deal. No, not happening. Um, after the crate system is removed, the value of any remaining keys in a player's inventory will be honored. We'll have more. So I think it's the same kind of thing. I think they're going to do some sort of math kind of thing, like to see how much things are worth. Is it safe to assume that you will not be able to get a guaranteed black market decal for one key? Um, yeah, or it is safe to assume. So they're not going to make it so you could buy like a hex for one key or $1. You know, it's going to, it's going to be very similar to Fortnite. In my opinion, things are going to cost anywhere from $2 for like emotes. So like for maybe like rares or very rares will be a couple bucks. Uh, you know, if you want the imports, $3, if you want the whatever exotic, it's going to be like five. If you want the black market, it's going to be like 10, 15, whatever it is. Um, I just really, the sad part of all this too, is I think at the end of this year, the trading community will be dead. Not dead. Like you're not going to die, but like, I truly believe there's no reason to trade anymore. Everyone can get what they want. Well, what are you going to like? Why are you going to trade? because you can't get what you want, or maybe you can only get like the smaller item. There's no randomization anymore in the crate. Like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's talk about it. Honestly, I want this comment section filled with your thoughts, uh, your emotions. Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to be, dude, there's people who are stoked about this. They're like, dude, get gambling off for these kids. Get No more of that crap. Like, yeah, let's do it. It's 2019, let's grow up. I totally get both sides. Um. So, so here's some questions I have, right? Here's some questions I have. And honestly, this read goes on. <laughs> it's, I, lo I love you guys. So many people are just like, rip John Sam. <laughs> like, I, you know, I pick up pixel of the stuff. I, I get it. But really, guys, like, if you think that's all I got, like, come on. Come on. You got to have faith in your boy. Um, all right. So here's what I, here's what I want to bring up and talk about. First thing, um, How's, how are we going to get titanium white zombies? Right? Think about this. How how are we going to get titanium white zombies? That was in an old crate, old crates. Uh, so say, say it comes on the Fortnite screen. Is it going to be like how Fortnite does it? Like wraps? Are you going to be able to wrap your car in titanium white? So you have to buy the base car and then you buy wraps or you unlock wraps? How's it going to be? Uh, is a creator code going to be an actual thing now that they're going to do this thing? Are are we actually going to have creator codes? Like, are we going to be able to push like our creator code, which is code sand in the Epic Game Store? So that's not changing. Code sand. Use it now. All right. I don't play Fortnite, but like I, I, I thinking ahead, baby, thinking ahead, put in that sand. Uh, no, but for real, like, how's that going to work? Um, so I was thinking about the wraps of colors like. You can buy a crimson wrap and then you could throw it on something, but it's just going to change. Like, honestly, titanium white zombies, if you can buy them for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever, they're not going to be worth 200 keys. Like key value is nothing like the whole economy of this game is going to change like that. It's going to be nuts. Um, do you just buy titanium white zombies or do you buy zombies and then a wrap? Like, how's it going to work? So please speculate. Tell me what you guys think. Um, uh, I, I'm just, I'm bummed, but at the same time, I get it. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to make this episode cause I think it was just super important. I'm trying to think if it, if there's anything else, but, uh, it, 
crates are gone. Crates are going to be gone by the end of the year. Uh, no more of that. Oh, it's just sad, man. It's just sad. No more of the uh, excitement. But there's been so many great episodes. Uh, so much love that it's it's okay. Uh, I, I literally put on my notes, it will all be good. And that's not just because I'm like a pretty positive person. It's because like just like in life you got to adapt to things so when a big corporation makes a change you got to figure it out or get out or get out if this pisses you off to the point where you're like i'm done with rocket league man i really enjoyed it. like for me like I, I i thought about it i was like man I, we put so much hard work in coming up with fun ideas for crates but like for me when i'm done with the game like i'll just slowly stop playing it i still love the game itself I'm excited for the modded aspects. I'm excited for what could come and what could be with the game. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better every day. So like, I'm still good. I'm okay. I'm enjoying other games on the side as well. And uh, as much as it is a, a very sad thing, and I definitely, you know, I didn't want to cry, but I definitely wanted to make this video and sort of vent and, and be like a little like, okay, well, that sucks. Um, it's all gonna be good. <laughs> it's all gonna be good. I would love to know your thoughts. I'm sure this will not be the last video on this because I, I this is breaking news. I mean, this is Sandman news. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy, but this hit very close to home and I wanted to, to rant. I'm sorry, I've been ranting way too long about one thing, but this is a big thing in our lives or in my life. Uh, so yeah, please let me know what you think. Let me know how you think they're gonna do the systems it's fun to speculate um and if you guys read anything more if anything else pops up on the reddit um please let me know <laughs> this one dude rip john Savage and company where, where is it john nothing epic i'm about to end this whole man's career <laughs> it's so true no 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 not at all hey love you guys have an amazing day um i know it's a little a little rough for some of us um but hey it'll be good Peace out. Have a beautiful one. I will see you. I mean, listen, um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm, I'm probably going to do some crate wars because they can't stop me yet. You know what I'm saying? Peace. <laughs> For all news, any type of news, John Sandman's here to save the day. Goodbye from Sandman News.